The corporate-owned single-family rentals are transforming local real estate markets across the country, especially here in Charlotte. Now Mecklenburg County Commissioners are trying to figure out how they can prevent this trend from getting out of control. And our chief political correspondent, Emma Withrow, sat in on a discussion today and joins us now with some of the details on the issues at hand here, Emma. Yeah, that's right, Brian. It was a quick meeting, quick presentation. But they, they came out and they came out with this panel of experts who basically presented this data that they found. And they found that Mecklenburg County staff say since summer of 2021, six companies, only six, own more than 13,600 single family homes in Mecklenburg County. And 93% of those homes were purchased at around $300,000 or less. The big problem that comes along with the corporate ownership of single family homes is that they're not buying them in these established high income neighborhoods. They're usually buying the homes in minority communities communities for lower prices and then upcharging those renters who want to move in. That results in lower income communities not being able to build generational wealth and preserve affordable housing. The Board of Commissioners had a panel of community experts discuss the potential solutions to this issue. It's been a, um, a problem for a long time now and I, I heard the, the panelists mention that a lot of the corporate buying began um, perhaps during or, or following the 2008-2009 recession. And maybe the, um, the expectation was that that would help stabilize the market. Um, maybe not. So with all the affordable housing getting built and funded by the county and city council, very little of it's offering any sort of home ownership. Most of those units are rentals, which, as we just said, just contributes to this problem that we're seeing. So today's meeting with the housing expert panel was one of the first steps of action Mecklenburg County commissioners are taking to find out how exactly to handle this. They don't want to drive out businesses from these corporations, but they also don't want lower income folks to get driven out of their neighborhoods. So it's a tough position to be in. Yeah, it's certainly kind of uh, creating an issue here in, in Mecklenburg and Queen City. Too. Did, these, did this panel of experts have any kind of specific solutions that they can come up with right now? Yeah, they had a couple. They suggested the city council could put in place some policies, but then maybe that would deter these corporations from doing business here. So that wasn't really a good one that they said. The other one they talked about was maybe committing a community learning opportunity. So going into these communities, talking to elderly folks, talking to people who live there, who've been there for years, and maybe encouraging them to sell to individuals rather than corporations. Because imagine, I mean, your 73-year-old grandma gets a call from an investor saying, hey, I'll give you five hundred thousand dollars for your house. It seems like a good offer, but at the end of the day, it's contributing to this really big problem we're seeing. The, the bigger picture there, and we think we've all kind of gotten those calls here over the last few uh, few uh, months or so. Yeah, I would say with these rising Charlotte. prices here skyrocketing in Charlotte, yeah. and we're with our standing on top of it for us tonight. Thank Thanks, you.